Hi everybody, it's Kat from Creative Crafts and today's DIY is making a Native American talking stick. And um, it's going to be a fun project. I have two sticks here. But if you want to know how to do this, watch further. So the things that you will need is a stick. I have two here that I found outside. A some kind of a carving knife or I have this. This is a you could say a rug cutter or a razor. Paint brushes, paint. I got a pencil because I also want to draw some American Native American um, Indian um, I want to draw symbols on it. And if you want to add some extra stuff like a leather band and some feathers, you can do that too. We will do that step by step, but as you can see, I have my colors there, and you can see that I have a pile of uh, wood, well, carvings from the sticks here already. And how I did that is I took my carving knife or a razor, and I gently try to carve is till I get to this here, the pot to the root. I don't know what you want to call it from the inside or whatever. Uh, I took off all the skin, you could say, the top coat of the stick. And I try to do it gently so that I don't lose too much of the stick, which you can see that I didn't, and it looks pretty good. You'll need sandpaper because you're going to have to sand it. This one is a different story. It's an, wasn't very, I think it's a much older than the other side. And, um, yeah, you can see that it's a little deep, so we can go to the next step. So, everybody, um, like I was telling you, after you carve all that stuff off, you can see there's a, there's a lot of mess here. I'd suggest that you put either newspaper. This is a baked paper. I didn't have any newspaper left because I used it all. And so I decided to clean all this up. This is, I'm just going to show you one and I'm going to do the other a different way. This one is going to be, you know, colorful. And let me tell you a little bit about a history about the talking stick. The Native Americans use this uh, for council members. So when they're in a council circle, when they discuss important things and like that, um, the only person who's allowed to talk if they have this in their hands and they pass it around to everybody. So as long as that person has the talking stick in his hand, he is the only one allowed to talk at that moment. Say what his thinking is in mind and mind. No one else is allowed to say anything until he's done and he passes to the next person. So um, that's what the talking stick is all about. If you want to know about more about that, just go and Google. Google is your friend and it'll tell you everything. And I decided to put, you know, some pencil designs on it, what I thought I wanted to paint on it. So now I'm going to paint this. But before I paint this end, I want to stain this end here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use shoe polish. So let me get this heavy thing here. And I'm going to stick this stick inside here so that it, I can at least have this stick sticking in the position where... You know, you can see that I have here. Okay, everybody. So, um, after I discussed the thing about taking all of your... Carving this down, sanding it down to a how you want it. Don't do it too much, because if you carve it too much, you're going to take too much off and it's going to be all lopsided. So, you don't want to do that. And now what I'm going to do is... I want to stain this one part, one part of it, I want to stain it, and I'm just going to um, use a shoe cream. Just a shoe cream. I'm not going to get use any toxic stains or whatever you want to use for it. I'm just going to use normal shoe cream. So what so I'm going to do here is take the shoe cream I have here. Open it up, and you see that here, it's it's a brown color, let me see if you can see, it's a brown color, so I just squeeze just a tiny bit on there, 
And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to take the shoe cream and go to the end, two of the fires I want, I mean, you can go past the area that you wanna go. Just don't put too much on it. Well, I don't need this right now. I can show you like this. Let me put this down once. And you can see it better probably. Now that I do it like this, like I said, you press a little bit so you see color come out. And then you take this normal shoe polish. So now, all you need, like I said, you can use any shoe polish. Everybody at home usually has this if you have a man at home. And what you do is you just wipe any excess off. And that's all you do. You just wipe it off and now you just wait for it to dry, which shouldn't take very long. It's also non-toxic and it's good for the environment because this is non-toxic stuff. So now you're going to let this sit. I'm going to put the stick in here and let it do whatever it wants to do. It's like you can see, notice here, there's some parts that didn't go through yet. So like I said, you may have to do it more than once. Squeeze it. And because there's some here pieces that have maybe holes in it and the holes didn't get enough in it. If you want to wait a little bit, you can do it twice, three times, however dark you want to have this color, you can do it. And that's it. What I love about this, it has a sponge, it's so easy to work with. Well, I did try to show you twice already, and each time I showed you the stain, the camera went off. So, like I try to say is, I stained it, I put two coats on it, so now I'm like going to let it dry. And once it dries, I'm going to start painting these areas up here. I don't, I mean, I could paint the whole thing. Well, I was just going to decide to paint this all different colors, but I just decided at this moment that I'm going to paint the whole thing um, with the stain. You can still see the things that I did, uh, made the designs on, which I'm going to be doing with a white permanent marker. I was going to use paint, but I have permanent marker, which I think would be better. So let's try this again and see how far I get before the camera goes off again. So, I just hope this works. And when you get into areas where there's a holes, like I said, so you can put it against something so that you can, you have a little leeway. There's two different ways. You can make this, paint this really colorful or you can uh, make it a natural wood like I'm doing with this one. The other one I think I'm going to make it colorful. So at the end of the video, um, I'm going to post a picture on um, what, it, what the other one's going to look like when I'm done with it. Let's go here. Like I said, make sure you go keep going around, that you make sure you get enough coats on the whole thing. Other than that, we're going to have a mess. Try to put this here so you can see. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see. I think that's good. So. I'm 
I'm just going to put a whole bunch on this end and dab it for now. So. Like I said, very gently rub the rest off. don't want to rub it too much and both for here dab it so now I'm going to go over it with the there we go so right now I'm going to let this sit and dry and then the next step is using the permanent markers. I'm going to go get them and I'm going to make my little designs on there. So that is the next step. So everybody, I took my acrylic painter um, permanent marker well it's a, like a paint acrylic paint and it comes in a marker form and that's what I decided to use I decided just to use white I may use black or another color just for the highlighting a little bit but this is all you need to do it's just this this is all you need to do this is what I did I'm not done I still want to do some more here you know, but this is how you make a talking stick, a Native American talking stick. Um, you can, don't have to make it like a Native American. You can do any color you want, any design you want. Um, like on the other one, like I said, the second stick that I did, I'm going to do it, paint it different colors, all kinds of bright colors. That's why you have the paint over here. And that's what I'm going to do. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you I thought maybe just painting it and then showing you at the video instead of video videotaping me painting it. Um, it's it wasn't very hard. I took a pencil and made my marks that I where I wanted to paint or where I wanted to brought, use the pen or marker. You can use anything you want, and I just made the designs on it the way I wanted. I didn't want to put it all the way down, like I said, only halfway up. From this way and up, that's where I have the colors. The top part here, I will add um, some um, rope or some leather band with some white feathers. And that's what will be the next step that I'm going to be doing with this. And yeah, that's basically it. That's how you can do it. It's a very easy uh, DIY. Take a stick from outside. Even children can do this. But the parents will probably would have to take off the 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 skin part of the the stick. Can't talk today. Uh, take the skin part off the stick for the children, and then if the children wants to paint it, they can paint it in any color they want. That's something to do to keep themselves busy. Kids will love to use markers. They can draw whatever they want on the stick, and that's an also a great uh, tip that you could do with your children for a hobby. But this is just for me, for decoration for my uh, living room, so that I can have all kinds of different things, because it's like I have a world map on my wall, and I decide to make all kinds of different decorations in there to match with all kinds of parts of the world. And to symbolize the uh, United States, America, I decided to make this. And, I mean, you can, if you're from Australia, you can make something with Australians. You can do whatever you want with it. That's what I'm saying what's so great about this. Sticks are always outside from storm and wind. I didn't break it off the tree. It was already on the ground. I wouldn't take pieces from a tree anyway. I just found these on the outside when I was taking my dog out. There's still so many out there. I was thinking about getting a huge, there's a really big one out there. I was thinking about maybe I'm making a walking stick. But we'll see. First, we'll let this dry up. And I'm going to paint it, maybe some other colors on it, maybe. I don't know, I'm still not done. Like I said, there it's empty here and you need to some more decorations in other places. 
And basically this is all you have to do. If you want to, um, I'm going to probably put um, spray, varnish spray on top of it to protect it from, you know, um, so it'll be shiny maybe, I could do that too. Or I can just leave it like this. But the next step, like I said, I'm going to get a ribbon or a string or something and I'm going to connect some um, white feathers on there and that would be the next step. So everybody, I found some jute rope. Then I have this silver wire. It's actually for making jewelry. And then I have these white feathers. I'm going to actually wrap it here on the end, the jute rope. Or, and then I'm going to add some of this around it perfectly so it looks nice. And then I'm going to add the feathers hanging down from here and then that will be all done. We have to be careful, it's still kind of wet. So this is that will be the next step. Alright, I decided to try to make a close-up so I can videotape this part if the video keeps playing. I'm waiting for my glue gun to get hot and then I'm going to wrap this jute rope around the the top part of here. I don't want to touch too much of this because it's still kind of wet the paint so you have to wait a little bit and then once I get that on there I can finish my decorations here and then we can do the final touches and then I'm done. So let's hope this glue gun gets hot fast because I don't want to I've got these pens here from online. They're okay, but I don't know what happened. For some reason, my black color it dried the, the tip dried up hard, so I can't really use it. But this is the only thing. I think you have to keep it sitting, standing up like this, or having it upside down. I don't know why it did that. The white wasn't like that at all. But it came with a lot of beautiful colors, so yeah, as you can see here. And this is what I'm going to use for the other one. But the other one I'm also going to stain it too, like I did with this. But right now, first comes first, we're going to be doing this jute rope with the glue gun. And like I said, you know, with glue, with the, all my videos, when you're working with glue gun, Please be very careful because the glue can be very hot and you can burn your finger really well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, yeah, well I just wanted to do that but it, apparently the glue hardened before I got it on the tree. This pot here. So let's do this again and twist it around like this quickly before it so now what I can do is I'm gonna take the tree itself and just keep twisting it there we go until we get it fitting nice and tight there as you can see here. again and yeah, that way wasn't the best it's just making a mess so like I said try to make it nice and neat try not to touch the paint or if you want you can wait until the paint is totally dried up and then you can um, do this without worrying about the paint. I'm just going to put several layers to make it look good and tighten it and then take my glue gun, my favorite glue gun, glue gun right, it was the biggest mistake that I even bought this one. So what 
I'm going to do is Make sure there's no, as you can see here, I try to make sure that it looks even. If you can, damn it. So how did that happen? Did I hit you with the foot? No, it's okay. Um, so this is what I'm going to do so that it looks nice and even. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a long piece of juke rope and cut a piece off and what I want to do is I'm going to tie this onto here and then what you want to do is you can take your feather like I have here I don't want to have it too high up so I'm going to take some of the glue Stick it on here, and then I'm going to take the jute rope and twist it around. And then while it's still hot, I would suggest that you squish it all together. Make sure there's no you can leave it like that if you want. So now if I want I can take take it the feather and just twist it so that it stays basically on this side like this so now I'm going to do the next one which I don't think I'm going to do it that different I'm going to do it a little bit different this time I'm not going to start from the bottom I'm going to just do the tip and see how that looks Like I said, be careful so you don't really burn your fingers. And then you have it like this. Well, I can you can cut off the excess. If you're like a perfectionist, then I would suggest that uh, you do it in a way so that you know that you want to have it perfect. So let me just check this out quickly. So now what I want to do is. I'm going to add some glue here to the side here and I'm going to take this one here and wrap it slightly around and make sure that it stays in that one place so that it stays there. Maybe I could do the same for this side too and then have it go down this way. So, and then you have your two feathers here connecting. strings everywhere all right so I don't like the way this looks so I'm gonna have to um, take this and do the same thing for this side too and just just put them together maybe I can tie them together let me see if I can do this Uh, 
Um, okay, how was I supposed to do that? I don't know. Jackson. You know what? I'm going to just cut this from here. And I'm going to just maybe add it here. Yeah, I think that would be better. So I'm just going to add some glue here. So I can wrap this around and burn my finger at the same time. Don't want to have the glue sticking everywhere, and that's what I did here. If you want, you can use any kind of animal hide if you have any. Um, I was thinking about taking maybe some of this and wrap it around it. See how first what I will do is I think maybe I'll use the marker here and make a circle thing around it first so that you know that it's perfectly rounded and then you can stick this up top. So what I want to do is stick up this up top and there we go. And then you take it and go around. And you can do something like this with it. If you can see that here, what I just did here this here, this part here. You can add anything you want. You can add jewels, pearls, diamonds. You can add bling to it if you want. But this is, I just wanted to make a simple one. I may end up adding another feather. Feather, not feather. Feather. And I will finish this up. And then at the end of the video, I'll have a picture of this one and the one that I'm going to make all colorful. So, Watch till the end, and if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Follow me on my other pages, they'll be on the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you join my family. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments or ideas, what I could have done better here, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And you can see the designs I did to it. This is just the, the white paint on it. And then I did this side with the different colors on it. Just to show you. Like I said, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.